dang we're getting just a lot of duds this week which is great for my wallet but <laughs> yeah let's just keep it right there it's great hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're jumping into another weekly wish list or washout i am loving the look that i have on right now i didn't film it just because i've seen like kind of an oversaturation of like valentine's day like dramatic pink looks but i just got out my uh, modern renaissance palette and i was playing around and i really love everything about this look right now <laughs> If I do end up going out for Valentine's Day, this is probably what I'll wear. Maybe, maybe not these lashes. These are... A, they were a pain in the butt to get on, and B, they're like way too big for my eyes. I really like my Ardell Demi Wispies better. But you know, this is how you find out what you like. You try new things, not everything works out. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, weekly wish list or washout is just me going through all the new makeup releases and deciding whether or not I would want to purchase them, whether I want to put them on my wish list, or whether I think they're just a total washout. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm taking everything like usual from the Trend Mood Instagram page, and I'll be throwing up pictures right over here so you can look along with me. The first thing that I see is like the new, it's now available early from the Sephora app. It is the Makeup Forever Starlit Glitter Palette. Honestly, after I bought the, um, the Chocolate Gold Palette from Too Faced, I really don't have any interest in any more glitter palettes. Like, I'm fine using like the Stila Glitter and Glows, like the singles, and I'm fine with the one palette, but these colors... They're, they're kind of boring for glitter. I see the swatches. They don't look that exciting. And it's $45 for a glitter palette. It's, it's a bit much. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that one. It's a bit of a washout. The next thing I see here are the new um, Milk Makeup Glitter Sticks, which I, I really don't get these. Does anyone understand what you're supposed to, like, use these for? Are, is it just, like, a liquid stick highlighter thing? I don't know. I really don't understand them. I really don't get them. Um, I'm gonna pass. All right, next up we have a palette from Viseart. I believe this is a, like, exclusive to Beautylish, the website. It's $49. It's got nine shades, and honestly, it is the most boring palette I've seen recently. Like, honestly, what, what about this palette is supposed to get me excited? I see it's got, like, two or three matte shades the rest are shimmer or glitter oh god it's so boring it's like definitely not worth 49 dollars for that does anyone else just like get tired of all the same neutral like palettes coming out especially for that price like i know viseart is like i mean i just bought a viseart palette for the first time um I just got their, like, the neutral mattes for the first time, and honestly, like, I'm already not really excited about it because one of the shades in the palette already popped out. Like, they just glue them in. Like, it's not a magnetic palette or anything, and one of the shades popped out, and I was, like, I spent $80 on that palette to have a, a shade immediately pop out before I even opened the damn box. Like, what? So... Definitely not getting that one. Next, I see a, a brush set between Wayne Goss and Beautylish. This, I mean, I don't know what kind of gold is infused in these Wayne Goss brushes to make them like $300 for a set of like seven brushes. No, <laughs> no. Like, the most expensive that I will go for brushes is, like, a Morphe set or a Sigma set. But I wouldn't spend $300 on, like, six or seven brushes. That's, that's a bit much. There's no way in hell you'll catch me paying this much money for brushes. It's not worth it. Jesus. And they, they don't even look, like, nice either. They're, like, like, from this photo, they look, like, plastic. And they've got just, like, pink writing on them. Just not interested. Alrighty, next I see that there's a new, um, a couple of collaborations between Pixie and a couple of influencers. I see Dulce Candy, Chloe Morello, and Wei Weili, I believe is how you say her name. And honestly, I'm looking at all of these products and I'm really happy for these influencers. Like, it is amazing to get a collaboration like this, but none of these palettes look interesting. You've got, like, what looks like a full face palette with brows. It's like, okay, 
you have a pink shimmer palette you have like a lip palette which i will never get a lip palette i'm just not interested in lip palettes at all and then i see what looks like a like a mini eyeshadow palette but they're just warm neutrals it's everything that we've seen before and honestly i think pixie's overpriced for like what it is a target makeup brand so just not interested dang we're getting just a lot of duds this week which is great for my wallet but <laughs> yeah let's just keep it right there it's great all right and the last thing that i'll go over it looks like ColourPop's coming out with a new little palette some super shock cheeks i believe and some supernova shadows you know same thing they're all the same warm pinky colors for valentine's day that everyone already has in their collection and the supernova shadows don't look anything special I have plenty of Stila glitters, I really don't need this, and whatever highlighters that there are, no. So, I'm also passing on that. I think this is the first time I've had a video where it's just every new release is just a washout. <laughs> so yeah, sorry this video was just a little negative, but you know what? Not every new thing that comes out is amazing. You don't need to go out and buy every single new item that comes out. I think it's really good to like look at these products like with a critical eye and think is there actually a spot for this in my collection? If the answer is no, then pass on it. Don't get sucked into the hype of thinking, oh it's new, oh it's all over Instagram, oh it's all over YouTube, I need to get it because it's just going to end up in your collection until you go and you end up decluttering it. So thank you for stopping by this weekly wishlist or washout. What do you think about these products? Are you going to get anything? Let me know down below. I would love to hear different opinions on some of these items. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. I would love to catch you in one of my next videos. Bye!